Hello ladies and gents, it's Hagbard Selene here. In my last video, I asked the audience if I should nip Islam Appreciation Month in the bud. Well, having perused that particular comment section, and applying my own confirmation bias of course, today, we have this instead. Market Watch reported on a recent trend of millennials asking for credit scores when they're dating someone to ensure that that person is financially responsible enough to continue dating. That's right, ladies and gents. Today, we will be looking at everyone's favorite news broadcasters, the Young Turks. And I wonder where they're going to stand on this issue of people demanding credit scores while dating. Of course, we're just talking people here. We're not talking a particular gender of people, are we? So, I don't know how widespread this is, but... This is, I think, code for, this came off of Tumblr, but I'm going to report on it anyway. But the story did profile several uh, women who say that they ask their dates, what's your credit score, and then they'll decide whether or not they're going to continue dating that person. Oh, well, this is a simple problem. You see, having asked that question, they would have lost all control over whether they would be continued to be dated, because I would leave immediately. I have no interest in that whatsoever. Thank you. So uh, Martina says, I need a man who has his life together and can pay his bills. I was raised in a family of professionals who keep their finances in check and taught me how to handle my money. I have no student loans and I can already take care of myself financially. I need a man who can take care of himself too. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how we have articles that have been written by feminists complaining that women, professional women, just can't seem to find dates. Hmm. It's almost like your expectations are a bit high. It's almost like it gets harder and harder to practice hypergamy when you're trying to go up the ladder. So she only dates men uh, who have a credit score of 700 and higher. And that's fine, so long as we can agree that I'm only willing to date a woman that has a BMI of 25.9, a waist to hip ratio of 0.87, and a waist to chest ratio of 0.74. Is that fair? Jesus okay. Christ. But here's an interesting thing. Let me guess, you have some brilliant study as to why these women are scientifically validated in choosing this behavior. So there have been studies into this to see how credit scores correlate to relationships and their success, right? I can't wait, Anna. This is bound to be mind-blowing stuff. So a 2015 study from the Federal Reserve Board found that couples with high credit scores above 750 are more likely to stay together. Couples with lower than average numbers below 600 are up to three times more likely to separate than those with average scores. Breaking news from Anna there, ladies and gentlemen, because it hasn't been known throughout almost all of history that the number one reason couples fight is financial problems. I know why. Why? So, okay, uh, before I get to that, to be fair to the women who are using the standard, there ain't nothing going on but the rent. Okay, mm -hmm. and you got to have a job if you want to be with her. And right? the rent okay. is too damn high. <laughs> and the rent is too damn high. All of that is true. Yeah. Of course, Papa Chank's perfectly happy supporting his baby mama. I mean, how do you think Anna got this job? I ain't saying she's a gold digger. <laughs> she ain't bait no broke. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine, relax, he just barely said it, and he's one of the melanated people. It's fine, it's fine, he's one of the melanated ones. Okay. By the way, I do want to clarify one thing really quickly. Uh, yes, Anna, please clarify as to how you're not just backing some gold digging bitches that are wanting to jam their hand in a nigga's pocket to count his stacks. So, you know, you read this story and it seems like, oh, these are women that are looking for some rich guys, right? Mm-hmm, but... But it's actually, you know... <laughs> I have to see that face again, sorry. <laughs> Good, yes, Anna, go on, sorry. Financially independent women, and they're just like, you know, I'm really fucking responsible with my money, and I want a guy who's also responsible with his money, right? Yeah, no, no, I get yeah. it, I get it. <laughs> Look at fucking Jank here, he has his head down, I get it, I get it, you're right, you're right, I have no place in this issue anyway, I'm just a man. But what, so, if, what, if, you, what, if, what if you're uh, attracted to someone in the arts? Oh, oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, please don't. Please don't attempt humor. There's a reason you're on this show and not a successful comedian. Please don't do it. 
<laughs> right? What if, yeah, that, I mean, look. That's the, that's the, that's the rub there, you know. My, my, my wife was, uh, uh, she's attracted to me because of uh, my artistic ability. Right. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, man, just stop. Even, even Anna doesn't sound like she believes you here with this little right. Right. <laughs> oh, it's not good. And it only gets not gooder. And, uh, you know, but that also brings some financial instability it with does. it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. These women would not date you. Sorry. Harsh and dismissive, but probably accurate there, Anna. And now, now these Whoa. women would not date me, but... Oh, Jimmy, don't, don't, don't. And now, now these Whoa. women would not date me, but they are, uh, they, they cannot resist the charm. That's the thing. <laughs> Sorry guys, if you got a little of Jimmy's slime on you third party through the edited screen, I mean, I tried to stop it. I put on all the filters. I, I, I couldn't. Just just for safety, assume that if you can see Jimmy Dore's face that you're in the sleaze ball splash zone. But I but <laughs> that is No, truth, but you right? know what? Like look, I I Oh, I have never been happier to hear Anna's shrill and shrieking voice, but that being said, she is actually trying to rescue Jimmy Dore from jamming his pustule-infested foot back into his mouth. However, Jimmy Dore, being Jimmy Dore, simply cannot resist the temptation to finish his... joke? Comedy bit? It's... It's hard to say with a comedian so subtle and skilled as Jimmy Dore. But, but let me just say, this let me just finish. I was halfway through my point. But my wife made the investment early on. She knew I had the talent, and now it's really paying off in spades for her because my credit score is 797. Now, now if he'd stopped there, this is already a weird enough routine as Jank is going to react to here. But I think the closer will stay with us until our dying days. Ooh, look at that. And it helps your orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. Imagining Jimmy Dore in the act of coitus with his wife, just her screaming out, That's right, you may only have four in the bedroom, but you got 790 in the bank. Oh. Okay, so, okay, now go ahead, Alonzo. Oh, I see. Even on the progressive ass show, you're going to let the black man speak last. Even after the Jew comedian says some terrible ass jokes. I see how it is. Well, it, there's there's a lot of things to this. For one, that woman they were talking to. This is you're definitely in the minority when you say that you came out of college when you're you're a high income with no student loans. No student yeah. loans. Okay. Yep. Wow. But but yeah. and and I'm gonna get crucified for saying this. But preach, brother, and give them the truth they don't want to hear. Is the guy allowed to say, okay, I'll show you my credit score, but I want to know how much you weigh. I want to know how much your mother weighs because I want to see how genetically you're never going to get fat or whatever. You know, you yeah. could pick something like that and say, yeah, I'm going to judge you on that. Now, wait a minute. Your mom's a little overweight. So if you gain 10 pounds in the next 20 years, I can dump you, right? You know. It, it's the same yeah. thing, right? It's picking an arbitrary score. So if you're judging men on their financial aptitude, couldn't you judge women on their on their physical attributes or something like that and make your projection? It wouldn't it be the same thing? It's I know it's ridiculous and it's horrible. And ladies, I know you hate me for what I just said. And uh, but I'm, my name's Jimmy Dore. <laughs> <laughs> that is a cry laugh, Jimmy Dore, because you know deep down in your heart, that's why he's a better comedian than you. Well, that's about all the Young Turks I can take, ladies and gents, so I'm going to cut the video there. From this, I have concluded, jam your hand in the man's pocket and find out exactly how much money he has before you ever decide to seriously consider him a partner. Because, you know, equality and shit. Jimmy Dore relies on his credit score to sexually pleasure his wife. Anna Kasparian's voice still sucks balls and is more grating than fingernails on a chalkboard, and Chank is still willing to kowtow to anything that she says regarding how women behave simply because he knows he has no place in the matter. That said, Alonzo is the only human being on that entire panel. I hope you've had fun. I'll be back on Thursday with some more silly videos. Stay safe, good luck, and goodbye. Bye.